Prince Harry appears to accuse the royals of keeping him and Meghan Markle as villains in a new interview as he promotes his tell-all memoir. The Duke of Sussex, whose book Spare is out on January 10, also says they've shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile in an apparent reference to his family amid the bitter ongoing rift, and adds that he wants his father King Charles and brother Prince William back. Harry, who now lives in the US with Meghan after quitting royal duties in 2020, makes the comments to his friend and journalist Tom Bradby in the sit-down chat for ITV which airs on Sunday. In a 20-second teaser released today, the Duke said, it never needed to be this way, the leaking and the planting. I want a family, not an institution. They feel as though it's better to keep us somehow as the villains. They've shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. I would like to get my father back. I would like to have my brother back. Mr. Bradby, who presents ITV News at 10 and is a former royal correspondent, is a friend of the Sussexes and previously interviewed them for a documentary about their 2019 Africa tour months before they announced their Megxit decision. Filmed in California, ITV said Harry, the interview, which airs at the channel at 9 p.m. on January 8 will go into unprecedented depth and detail about his life in and outside the royal family. Harry and Meghan should be banned from coronation, poll the majority of Britons think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should be banned from King Charles' coronation, a new poll suggests. The survey by Techne found 76% of respondents say the Sussexes should not be allowed to attend the event at Westminster Abbey on May 6. Read more here. Harry is giving another TV interview about his book Across the Pond, which also airs on Sunday. The Duke speaks to Anderson Cooper on CBS News 60 Minutes program which the broadcaster has described as revealing. In a short clip from the U.S. interview, Harry says silence is betrayal over the alleged failure of Buckingham Palace to defend him and his wife before they stepped down as senior royals. He said, every single time I've tried to do it privately, there have been briefings and leakings and planting of stories against me and my wife. The family motto is never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto. They will feed or have a conversation with a correspondent, and that correspondent will literally be spoon-fed information and write the story, and at the bottom of it, they will say they have reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. But the whole story is Buckingham Palace commenting. So when we're being told for the last six years, we can't put a statement out to protect you but you do it for other members of the family, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. It comes as the royals will be bracing for the release of the tome, which has been billed as a book of raw, unflicking honesty. A source said the king will escape the brunt of the criticism in the memoir despite his fractured relationship with his youngest son. The insider said the book will be tough on Harry's older brother the Prince of Wales, who is second in line to the throne. The Princess of Wales will also reportedly come under fire from the Montecito-based Duke. The source with knowledge of the memoir told the Sunday Times, Charles comes out of it better than I had expected, but it's tough on William, in particular, and even Kate gets a bit of a broadside. There are these minute details, and a description of the fight between the brothers. I personally can't see how Harry and William will be able to reconcile after this. Harry singled out William for the most criticism in his and Meghan's recent six-hour Netflix marathon.
He claimed the future king screamed and shouted at him during a summit at Sandringham in January 2020 with the late Queen and Charles to resolve the Megxit crisis. Harry's memoir has been ghostwritten by Junior Moringa and is reportedly part of a four-book deal with publisher Penguin Random House. An earlier press release said, Spare takes readers immediately back to one of the most searing images of the 20th century, two young boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching honesty, Spear is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief.